You're looking to water cool your case and take it up a notch, but what are the best cases for it? Let's take a look at five of the best ones. The NZXT H440 is a great water cooling and air cooling case because of its large radiator support and its very open design allowing for many different ways of routing the tubing. This open design allows for the best aesthetics possible uh, because you're able to take and put the tubing exactly how you want it compared to having to work around the complications of the case. This is really nice and you can also take and mount your 2.5 inch SSDs down below and display them out for everyone to see. One of the other things that NZXT has done is they've included rubber grommets for tubing that goes out the back of your case. Fantex is a fairly new competitor in the case market, but they have some great water cooling cases and they're definitely something that you should take a look at in the top five. The one that came out first and one that I think is probably the best is the Enthu Primo. This is a very large and heavy case, so if you plan to take it to LAN events to show off your nice water cooling, it's probably not the case for you, although it does have amazing radiator support. To go off of the amazing radiator support, there is mounting options on the back wall of the case for a reservoir, as well as it comes with a pump bracket, which is really nice because you can tell that they were thinking about water cooling while they designed this case. Case Labs builds some of the best cases on the market. High quality aluminum, handmade, but what one do I think is the best for water cooling? It's probably the SMA8 which is a case that Jay's Two Cents has featured in two different builds, Skunk Works and Red Mist. It looks absolutely amazing, and it has amazing radiator support. While it doesn't have dust filters, as with all Case Labs cases, it is still fairly easy to clean, and you can divide it up into multiple sections, with the basement being where you can have your pumps and your... Um, power supply, you can have radiators down there to kind of split it up. It's a great case if you want to do a dual loop system. The only real downside to the SMA8 other than its size and weight is definitely its price tag. As with Case Labs cases, it is very expensive and it's not one that I can recommend if you're on a small water cooling budget. I've been a fan of fractal design cases ever since the Define series came out. And with the Define R5 and the Define S, which is pretty much the Define R5, while excluding the five and a quarter bays, the cage drive cages, and also including a side panel window. The R5, well, it doesn't have a side panel window. You could probably mod it as some other people have done. You can find examples of that on YouTube. And you can show off your water cooling in there. Or you can go with the Define S, which has the side window already and is very open. And as you probably noticed, there's a trend. Great water cooling cases have great rad support and are very open, which allows for the most customizability, which is something that many people are looking for when water cooling. With the Define S excluding the drive cages, the five and a quarter bays, and including the side panel window, you're gonna be saving quite a bit of money because its MSRP is only $80 compared to $120 with the Define R5. We can't forget about those who want to water cool in cube cases. This is something that's becoming more of a trend with smaller cases and definitely cube cases have become more popular. If you're looking for one of these, the Corsair Air Series is definitely one to look at. The Air 240 and 540 depending on which size motherboard you would like, is definitely the best one out there for cube water cooling cases. Well, it has air in the title, that means it has great airflow. And in order for it to have great airflow, it usually means that it comes with great radiator support as well. They have exceptional radiator support compared to the competition. The bat in the Corsair Air series works kind of like the basement did on the SMA8, where you can take and put your pumps and you can usually put a radiator over there and hide wiring, hide extra tubing, your drain valve, and anything of that nature. If you guys enjoyed, remember to give the video a rating down below. Let me know what you thought as well. And subscribe for more videos like this and product reviews. Head on over to social media. 
give me a follow or a like. I'll see you in the next one.